Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking logo particle explosion effect in After Effects and it's super simple so I'd say let's just start. So yeah let's go into our, our new composition. I just made a, a little background but yeah first of all let's add our logo of course and just scale it to the size that you like it to be. So let's make it a bit smaller like this and then what's really important is to pre-compose this logo so press right click on the logo in here and just hit pre-compose and make sure that this lower um, setting is selected instead of this one because this will be default but we need yeah we need this one so make sure these both are activated and then just press ok and now we can already apply our most important effect which is the CC pixel poly effect so just search for it and apply it and yeah as we can see we already get a nice explosion but let's play with the settings a bit so let's first turn down the gravity to zero so the particles will go in all directions instead of dropping down so we got this nice thing then we can also play around with the grid spacing and this basically determines the amount of particles so if we turn this up to 50 we will get less particles if we turn it down to 10 we will get more particles but i'll just go with 20 for this example or maybe 15 uh, oh no let, let's try 30 like this and yeah this looks cool but as we can see the particles just yeah stay very long and we don't want that so just go ahead a few seconds like one or two seconds into the animation and press T so we can open the opacity tab down here so just press T on the keyboard and create a keyframe at 100% and then just go forward a bit and turn it down to zero so they will just vanish with the time so now we got this cool effect and of course maybe we can bring this forward a bit so it will start fading away earlier like this and yeah this is really cool and by the way if you want the logo to show for a bit and not just explode wide right away you can also yeah set in a start time like one second then the animation will start later but then we also have to adjust our opacity keyframes so yeah it just doesn't vanish too early so yeah just like this but as you have seen we also had these nice yeah what do you call these these little streaks behind the particles and this effect is also really simple so let's do this real quick so let's select this layer and just duplicate it with Control D and select the lower layer and search for the light burst effect which should be under generate so just go to yeah, the light burst apply it to the lower layer and yeah now we can see it goes in the wrong direction but this is easy to fix just change the ray length to a negative value like minus 150 so it just goes yeah in the center so we got this nice thing but we don't like the the color of this streak it's too different so let's search for the fill effect and just apply it as well and select the the spin tool and just select the particle so it will have the exact same color as most of the particles and this looks good but maybe they're too strong so let's go to the yeah, opacity keyframe to this one and just turn it down to something like 33 or 40 or 20 something quite low so it will, won't be that strong and yeah this looks really cool i'd say and that's it already super simple looks really nice and it's easy to apply so yeah thanks for watching